If you are an architect and planning to buy a laptop in 2023, this is the perfect video for you. I have shortlisted few of the mid-range or mid-budget laptops for architects, which will be really, really helpful for all of you for all the future workloads that you're going to have. So this video will be a very helpful video for all of you because I will be explaining why you need this specific configuration. And based on that explanation, you can yourself make a decision like what configuration you would need in your specific laptop. I will also give comparison between the CPU that are of Ryzen and Intel CPUs. Then I will also compare the GPU performances of Intel and Ryzen. So you will have an overall basic and general idea about like what configuration you should go for and what kind of rendering softwares you will be using on that kind of specific configuration. So without any delays, let's get started with the video. Now let's start with the laptops that I have shortlisted. The first laptop that I have listed on my list is Acer Nitro 16. This is not a very high-end gaming laptop, but this has pretty good configuration in it. It has Ryzen 7 7th generation processor, which obviously gives you more cores. It has 8 cores and 16 threads. I will, I will come to this part later on in my video, like what cores do. It has graphic card, which is 4060 graphic card. 4060 graphic card comes with 8 GB of VRAM. And the RAM on this laptop is around 16 GB, which can be expanded over to 32 GB which is always a good option to have because in future your workload might increase, in future your rendering processes might increase. So it is always a good option to have a laptop with expandable option. And it has 512 GB of SSD, which again can be expanded up to 1 TB if you want. And the cost of this laptop is around 1.3 lakhs, which is, I won't say it is very cheap but it is not very expensive based on the current market that is going on in india next one on my list is acer predator helios uh, this is actually a more powerful laptop because it has i7 processor and even though it is of 12th generation now we have 13th generation out for us but even the 12th generation i7 processor are pretty good you can't say that they are like the 10th generation which was totally failed by intel but um, this is the processor configuration it again has 4060 8 gb graphic card in it 16 gb ram which is ddr5 ram then you have 1 tb ssd as well but the cost of this laptop goes above 1.4 lakhs right now when i saw the last time it was around 1.5 lakh indian rupees so that is a decision on you that you have to buy an i7 or ryzen processor next on my list is hp omen uh, this is one of the best configuration and the best budget laptop that i have this again comes with ryzen 7 processor then 16 gb ram rtx 4060 and then 1 tb 1 tb of your ssd the cost of this laptop is around 1.3 lakhs which is fairly cheaper when compared to all the other options that i have shown you next on my list is asus tough a16 laptop uh, this laptop is totally based on ryzen architecture so what ryzen architecture means is the processor is from Ryzen and the GPU is also from AMD. So this AMD architecture laptop is also very powerful. Uh, it comes with 7600M processor from AMD, uh, sorry, 7600M GPU from AMD. So that is something that you can have a look at it. Like it has 8GB of VRAM on it then the processor is again ryzen 7 7 generation processor 16 gb ram 1 tb ssd and the cost of this laptop is 1.3 lakh um, now coming to which gpu performs better so amd and intel gpu both are on par right now but what intel does better is ray tracing 
So ray tracing is used by all the rendering softwares right now on the market. Like Twinmotion uses it, Enscape uses it, then Lumion has started using ray tracing as well. So it's not anymore just on the VRAM because in previous configurations like Lumion used to use a lot of VRAM for your rendering. Right now your Intel GPUs will be a very good option for you because they really perform well when it comes to ray tracing. They are actually very highly optimized for ray tracing. There are uh, other factors as well like your memory speed rate then your on what hertz or on what frequency they operate. There are all of these things but for just general overview you can say Intel graphics perform better for ray tracing. So I would suggest like go for that because right now 4060 comes with 8 GB of VRAM like it's not like 3060 with which already had like uh, 6 GB of VRAM so it won't be uh, unfair competition between AMD and Intel but um, if you are going for ray tracing kind of rendering then you should go for Intel and now coming to CPU uh, so CPU again there is not a very huge difference you will find a 16 percent difference on based on at what um, power level your cpu is operating till 45 watt your cpus both intel i7 and ryzen 7 processors will perform almost at par but as you increase the power output of your laptop your cpus will start increasing their performances but here the difference comes. i7 again surpasses the Ryzen processors as you increase the power level. So till the point you reach to 80 watts, the difference is around 16 to 20% in the performance level. Intel again passes this. So I would say go for an Intel i7 processor and with 4060 graphic card, that will be the best overall configuration for you. 32 GB of RAM is definitely better, but even if you are getting 16 gigs of RAM, it will take all of your loads very easily. If you are not doing very huge rendering projects or very large video files in rendering, I think so this particular configuration, which is i7 12th generation, then 4060 graphic card, 8 GB 4060 graphic card, then 1 TB SSD and 16 GB RAM. This is the configuration overall that you should look for in a laptop. Now coming to single core and multi-core performances. So most of the rendering software, they go for single core performance. So for example, um, Intel has eight core and Ryzen also has eight core right now. So what will perform better? So in our example, like the softwares that you that we use and the rendering softwares that we use, they they are based on single core performance, and Intel surpasses Ryzen in single core performance. It isn't a very big difference. The difference between their performance it's ten to fifteen percent, but still Intel performs better when it comes to single core, and similar goes for multi core as well. This wasn't the case in the previous generation of Intel processors, but right now the change is very evident and uh, there is a difference. So most of the software that we use, um, so especially when it comes to rendering, so they use GPU for the final rendering process, but they still depend on the CPU, the power of the CPU and how fast it process the information and send this send that information to GPU. So they both are dependent on each other. It's not like only CPU is important or only GPU is important. They both are dependent on each other. And in softwares like V-Ray, you can even select which uh, process it will depend more on, like CPU or GPU. 
so guys this was this was it for today's video i hope uh, you got a clear picture or at least a slight picture of what we need for our rendering softwares what would be the best selection for you when you are going to buy a laptop i'm not promoting any laptop or anything i just want you to make a good choice good selection uh, you can still go for 3060 as well but i wouldn't suggest that because the 4060 has more vram as well plus it even performs on a higher frequency so it is always better to go for the latest gpu rather than going for the previous generation gpu so the final decision is up to you if you have any kinds of doubts or questions or queries go ahead mention it in the comment section i will try my level best to solve it and uh, there were references that I have taken from other channels because those channels are specifically for all this configuration I, and I have summed it up for our usage and our uh, perspective. So the links are in the description. You can go ahead and do your own research as well. But this was the overview of everything. I hope you like this. And if you like this, go ahead, hit a like and subscribe to my channel. And Take care. See you soon.